Hello everyone. Namaste. So we are here for this spiral art session. It's just a small quick relaxing art and we are going to use few supplies. Black marker pen, pencil for the shading, one blending tool and we are going to draw on a 6 inch square paper. I have already uploaded a video of this beautiful spring tile in my YouTube channel. If you want you can take a look to that and yesterday we did a, a two heart, heart to heart is the name of that project and we did a beautiful zentangle session. Coming Saturday again we are going to do a zentangle session and that was pretty organic that will look kind of like this and again next saturday is our this zendala art session and every sunday we are meeting for the spiral art so as you know for the spiral art we always start for the boundary and i always say if you want you can go ahead and use the ruler this is just for the fun relaxing session so I avoid using any tool like any ruler or compass or anything. I would like to go freehand in this session but it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it and after this boundary what I'm just going to do I'm going to find out the center on all four sides again you can be very precise and you can use your ruler now again in this half section I'm going to find one more half dot like this so I'm just doing it by my eye here you go so I put all try to divide every line into four equals equalish sections hi Gitika hi Katyani so now we are going to draw these half pod like or the leaf like shape on the border with the help of those dots which we just put That's it. After that, we are going to do a hey Claudia. After that, we are going to do the aura line of this. I'm just going to double line. Sometimes, when you draw a little quick, the ink flow, you know doesn't flow the way you want it kind of stops in between It's the time to draw the string inside. So you see where our this second hump from the corner and here second hump from the top right corner. We are just going to join that like this. 
and again second hump here and somewhere we are going to draw the parallel line in the little bottom side we are going to do that and here in between I would like to make one cross with little curvy line I'm taking a break after every line for a few seconds so that you can catch up I'm going to extend that line all the way to this corner and all the way to this corner here that's it so this is our today's string and now it's time to start our spirals so in the spirals first we are going to start working on this top left corner we are going to start from the top left corner and we will go clockwise and in every hump we are going to stop and join it again So whenever we are working on any kind of spiral art or this paradox tangle we always draw these slanted lines and try to maintain the outer shape wherever we are drawing this tangle. So if you talk in the zentangle term, the tangle we are drawing is the paradox, but in the spiral art, they are just the spirals with the same shape and we keep on drawing the slanted lines inside the shape. So this will be our first top left corner. Now we are going to work on this top right corner. On this art shape we are going to work once we are done with all the shapes, all these uh, blocks. We are going to again start from this top right corner and we will go clockwise. Most of the time when I'm uh, when I set up the string for this spiral art I generally uh, tend to make the string which gives us you know symmetrical kind of the design but today I uh, designed the string in a way that it's not at all symmetrical it's very very organicish so I'm expecting a very different output The fun part is even I even don't know what it will be like when it's kind of done. I just planned the string and thought of some like ideas in my mind. So it's let's see what surprise it's going to give us. Now we are going to start again from this bottom right point, bottom left point I'm sorry and we'll go towards the right.
if you want to make your art more intricate you can use little thinner pen and you can use you you can draw all these spiral lines a little bit more closer and because when you use your thinner tip pen you get more space to draw right so you can make your art more intricate in that way I'm here using 08 micron black pen So I started this this block I started from where my point is because there are just three corners in this one there is no top right corner so that's why uh, there is no top corner so I started from this and I going all the blocks I'm going clockwise in this one Katyayani. and again let me just first complete this one then I'll move to the left to move towards to the left hand side I'll start from this top left corner again and I will go clockwise it's fun drawing when your boundaries are not straight and they are kind of you know in different directions different styles so take care of that wave take care of that hum when you are try to maintain the shape as much as you can i know it is tough sometimes to maintain the shape exactly but you can rotate your tile so that you get good view in the drawing Last time when last set Sunday when we did this spiral art session some of the uh, participants used color pencils or the color pen uh, for their uh, you know embellishments and they were looking very pretty and you can keep it just classic and you can use exactly like the way I'm doing I'm going to use just the graphite pencil so you can go ahead and you can just do like that it's your choice or you can use graphite as well as color pen or pencil to add your own elements nice it's looking so 3d illusion kind of lines some is going down and up right now I'm going to work in these two blocks every time we are going to start from the top left corner and we will go to right same as we are going to start from this here and we will go right how it turns around it looks so beautiful and when they combine with each other then you cannot make out what blocks we made in the beginning now we are going to start from this tiny left block
I'm waiting for a few seconds. Let's see whoever is drawing. If you have any questions. It seems like most of the people are kind of watching instead of drawing today. So if you are just watching, please write down two. And if you are just drawing, if you are drawing along with me, please write down one. Hi, Alvina. So please write down one or two guys. If you are just watching, write down two. Thank you. And if you are uh, drawing along with me, you can write down one. And while drawing, hi, thank you, Radhika. So we are starting from the top left corner. Thank you, Geetika. Uh, and we will go towards the right hand side clockwise. You can rotate your tile accordingly. Thank you, Katerini. So there is a little twist in the borders and in this block we are going to do once we are done with all the spirals. Keep drawing, keep drawing. I love keep drawing, you know, continuous line, continuous slanted line. And when it keeps on moving, you see that moment while drawing. That is the fun. And now, is this the last one? And this is a big block, so we have to be really careful. We start from the left side and we will go towards the right hand side. And now the, here are lots of these humps, so we have to take care of these, all the lines. So this top line is kind of straightish and then If you take care of the outer shape, then you get a beautiful illusion. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Dog in the studio and he's saying something. So now it's the time to draw this beautiful curvilinear triangle and these little pods in the boundary. So for this one, we are going to draw from one side and then we'll, we are going to draw from other side. So this is the kind of slanted lines again. But if you talk in the terms of Zentangle, it's kind of the bitweed tangle, which we are doing. And after doing this, we are going to just make little tiny dots in the corner. This will be our little twist here and then we can use the same pen or we can use little thinner tip pen for these borders where we are going to draw these spiralish S shape. Look carefully how I'm drawing. I'm going to repeat it on all four sides so I'm drawing it very slow. And if you want to know the name of this tangle, the name of this tangle is Echoism, E-C-H-O-I-S-M, Echoism. And we draw it in a continuous line to fill whatever the size of the shape. Like if the space is increasing, we increase the size. I've used this tangle earlier also in this spiral art. It goes very well with Paradox. And create this beautiful net effect. I've used this tangle in my lots of other Zentangle inspired arts. If you want, you can practice first in your other practice paper and then you can start drawing in your this square paper, in your project paper, whatever you are comfortable with. So if you see, I just use a little thinner tip pen, but we can use the same tip, tip pen that will also look nice. The only thing is when we use little different size of tip, so it just creates a little bit more drama and you know, it uh, creates a little different kind of feel because the line size is different. So just because of that, I changed the tip pen, but you can use the same tip size pen. You can use different color pen also. That is a nice idea. If you have, if you want to use any other color in your artwork, if you don't want to keep it as classic, you can go ahead and you can use any, you know, other color pen. And even if, if you want to keep it classic, you can use the gray marker pen. If you have a thin gray pen, that will also give very different look. So basically we have used three tangles in this spiral art session and first tangle is the paradox which is uh, the main spiral art tangle. We draw the slanted lines based on the shape that is the paradox. The second tangle we used in between these curvilinear triangle is the bit weed. And the, tri and the tangle which we are playing with right now is the equism. 
and after tangling the next step is shading for embellishment of your work i'm going to use the darkest pencil today the ebony you can use any graphite pencil any school graphite pencil or any other 2b 3b whatever you have you can go ahead and you can use that and here you go let me just put it a little bit more you know yeah perfect and now it's the time for the shading grab your pencil i'm here using prisma color ebony pencil this is the very very dark pencil and you can use any school pencil any graphite pencil they all work same uh, but this one is just this writes a little darker so today i just want to use this one and here where we made this our oops beautiful bit weed i just want to lay down on this corner of this curvilinear triangle you can use q-tip you can use blending stump you can use tortillon you can use tiny cotton ball roll or the tissue paper for the blending tiny here inside as if it's going in right okay and now just you see where these curvy lines are very light handed I'm laying down To create a little bit more depth in these creases and you see wherever we you can see the difference wherever we did this kind of shading it creates more dimensions it looks more 3d-ish Shading is basically your own choice and there are various ways of shading if you want don't want to keep it classic and black and white you can use you know use a lot of colors we are in the spring season so you can use a lot of colors beautiful flowers are blooming these days it looks so nice when you go out from the house trees are like kind of filled with the flowers you hardly see leaves but you see the trees filled with flowers I will stop after this I'll take a break and I'll see if anything else is required anywhere here also I can give it lightly very lightly these waves that's it yay I'm 
liking this this is looking so pretty so if you want you can add a little bit more shadings a little bit more colors thank you katyayani and after that i'm going to write my initials here and p i'm going to sign it on the back and today's date 11th april 2021 spiral art tangles we have used paradox we used bitweed we used eco is and that's it time to praise your work hold it in your hand and you can pat your shoulder you can say yes we spent this beautiful half an hour in this uh, amazing abstract art and i really personally enjoyed drawing it i hope you all also enjoyed it and once you are done don't forget to take a picture of it and share it in any any social media at my discord and don't forget to tag me thank you guys see you next week in the zentangle session and then again sunday for the spiral art session bye